Hey everyone, here is lesson one of phobia medical terminology. So in this lesson, we're going to go through a large list of different types of phobias. So you're going to learn a lot of different medical terms for specific types of phobias many people suffer from. So to start with, we're just going to first introduce what the suffix phobia actually means. So the suffix phobia means fear of. Now this suffix can be added on to many different prefixes to form a specific type of phobia and we're going to talk about many types of phobias in the next few slides. Now this suffix phobia meaning fear of is a little bit different than the psychiatric diagnosis of a specific phobia. We're going to briefly talk about what a specific phobia is uh, according to DSM-5 criteria and we'll talk about more about the psychiatric, psychiatric condition of a phobia in future lessons. But briefly, according to DSM-5, a specific phobia has about seven different characteristics. The, the A criteria, or the number one criteria, is marked fear or anxiety about a specific object or situation. A second one is a phobic object or situation almost always provokes immediate fear or anxiety upon upon exposure to that object or situation. A phobic object or situation is actively avoided or endured with intense fear or anxiety. This fear or anxiety is out of proportion to the actual danger posed. Fear, anxiety, or avoidance is persistent and phobias typically last um, for six months or more. The phobias cause clinically significant distress or impairment in one's social, occupational, or personal lives. It causes some impairment in those aspects of one's life. And a phobia or a specific phobia is not better explained by other conditions. So that is just a brief summary of what a specific phobia is according to DSM-5 criteria. But this lesson is mostly on the medical terminology with regards to phobias. So we're going to start with phobias that start with the letter A. We're going to go through alphabetical order in this lesson. So uh, going through prefixes with regards to phobias helps us with our general medical terminology as well. So the first prefix I want to talk about is arachno. This means spider. So if we combine it with the suffix phobia, arachnophobia means a fear of spiders. So this is how this lesson is going to go. The next one is acro. Acro means heights. So acrophobia would be a fear of heights. Another one is agora. This one means open or crowded spaces. And this would be agoraphobia, so a fear of open or crowded spaces. This is typically one of, um, one of the phobias that is associated with panic disorders. So we'll talk about agoraphobia in another lesson as well. Another prefix is aqua or hydro. So aquaphobia or hydrophobia means a fear of water. So aqua or hydrophobia, you can think of this word in terms of chemical groups or chemicals themselves. Some are considered hydrophobic. You can also think of hydrophobia as a part of the condition of rabies disease. So uh, aqua hydrophobia means a fear of water. Now the next one is auto. The prefix auto means abandonment or uh, autophobia means a fear of abandonment. And we've learned the prefix auto means self. So if you think about it, self means or auto means self so fear of being by yourself or fear of being by one's self so it really is a fear of being alone so fear of abandonment so autophobia means a fear of abandonment the next one is astra which means thunder and lightning so astrophobia would be a fear of thunder and lightning another one is arrow arrow means flying so aerophobia would be a fear of flying. The next one is achievement. This means um, success. So achievement phobia would be a fear of success. So it's very easy. Achievement, like it's very similar to the word achievement. So it's a fear of achievement or fear of success. The next one is aleuro or gato or gato. Uh, and this refers to cats. So aleurophobia or Gatophobia or gatophobia means a fear of cats. Another prefix is andro. We've learned that this means man or men in previous lessons. So this means um, an androphobia means a fear of man or a fear of men. The next one is 
api, which means bees. So apophobia or apiphobia means a fear of bees. And api, uh, that prefix, you might have heard of it in apiary. Another prefix is anatide. Uh, this refers to ducks. So anatide phobia would be a fear of ducks. The next one is achondro. This means a person of short stature. So achondrophobia would be a fear of someone that is um, uh, shorter or of short stature. And achondro, you might have heard of this um, in the condition achondroplasia. Now, another prefix is electro. This refers to chicken. So electrophobia would be a fear of chickens. Another one is atikai or atiki. This means failure, so atikophobia would be a fear of failure. So another prefix is aphenphosm, which means intimacy. So uh, aphenphosm phobia, it would be a fear of intimacy. Another prefix is anthropo, which means people. So anthropophobia would be a fear of people. And to remember this prefix, what this means, you can think of the word anthropology or a study of people, or a study of the history of certain types of people. The next prefix is athazagora, or athazagora. Uh, this means being forgotten. So athazagora phobia would be a fear of being forgotten. The next prefix is aglio. This means pain. So agliophobia would be a fear of pain. Another prefix is elodoxa. This means opinions. So elodoxophobia would be a fear of opinions. So the next set of phobias start with the letter B to E. So the first one is basi or bassa. Uh, this means falling. So bassophobia or basophobia would mean a fear of falling. The next one is banana, which simply means banana. Um, this is, so this is quite easy. Banana phobia, as strange as it sounds, some people have a phobia to bananas. The next one is batho or batho. This means depths. So you can think of bathophobia or bathophobia as a fear of, of depths. The next one is kakormor. This means overweight or obese people. So a kakormorphobia would be a fear of overweight or obese people. Katoptro uh, means mirrors. So a katoptrophobia would be a fear of mirrors. Another one is coaster, uh, simply refers to the roller coaster. So coaster phobia is a fear of roller coasters. That's an easy one to remember. The next one is SIBO or Kaibo or Saibo, this means uh, food. So Saibophobia or Sibophobia would be a fear of food. The next prefix is Cheto. Um, this means hair. So Chetophobia would be a fear of hair. Calero uh, means clown. So Calerophobia would be a fear of clowns. And this is a very common phobia that many people have is a fear of clowns. So calrophobia is a fear of clowns. The next one is sino, which means dogs. So you can think of sinophobia. Some people have a fear of dogs. Another one that's very common is claustro, which means small spaces. So claustrophobia means a fear of small spaces. That's literally what mean. Uh, that's literally what claustrophobia means. So claustro means small spaces. The next one is carcino, which means cancer. So we've learned what carcino means in a previous lesson. Carcino means cancer. So carcinophobia would be a fear of cancer or a fear of developing cancer. So in order to remember what the prefix carcino means, think of carcinogenic. So carcino means cancer. The next prefix is chrono, which means future. So chrono uh, is actually um, a prefix that really literally means something to do with time, so chronology or chronos, these all relate to time, but in this respect, chrono or chronophobia would be a fear of the future. 
So chronophobia is a fear of the future. The next one is didascalino. This means school. So didascalinophobia would be a fear of school or a fear of going to school. Another one is disposo. This prefix means getting rid of things. So disposophobia would be a fear of getting rid of things or a fear of throwing things out. So it's related to um, hoarding. Another prefix is anoclo. This means crowds. So anoclophobia would be a fear of crowds. The next prefix is ameto or amito. This means vomiting. So ameto or mitophobia would be a fear of vomiting. So this is similar to words we've previously learned. So amesis means vomiting. So amito is similar to amesis. So amito means vomiting. So amitophobia means a fear of vomiting. The next prefix is entemo, which means insects. So um, entemophobia or entomophobia would be a fear of insects. So you can think of the word entomology or the study of insects. Another prefix is equino. This means horses. So equinophobia would be a fear of horses. The next prefix is ergo, which means work. So ergophobia would be a fear of work. And uh, you can think of words like ergonomics. So the next list of phobia start from the letter G to M. So the first one is galio, which means sharks. So you can think of galiophobia, which means a fear of sharks. The next prefix is gamo, which means commitment. So gamophobia would be a fear of commitment. Another prefix is gephyro, which means bridges. So gephyrophobia would be a fear of bridges. Jurasco or grasco means getting old. So jurascophobia or grascophobia would be a fear of getting old. So you can think of the word geriatric, which means older person. So geriatric or gera. Jurasco, very similar word. So think about geriatric when you think about this. So Jurasco meaning getting old, Jurascophobia meaning a fear of getting old. The next prefix is glosso. So this means public speaking. So glossophobia would mean a fear of public speaking. Now you might um, think, okay, gloss or glosso means tongue. And it, indeed, actually, the prefix glosso means the tongue, or refers to the tongue. So you can think of uh, glosso, uh, something to do with your tongue, something to do with speaking. So um, glossophobia is actually a fear of public speaking. So maybe that might help you a little bit. The next one is globo or globo. This means balloons. So globophobia is a fear of balloons. Another one is gyno, which means woman or women. And uh, so that would mean that gynophobia would be a fear of women. So you can think of gynecology when you think of gyno. Another one is hemo, which means blood. So we've heard of this before. Uh, so hemo means blood. So hemophobia would be a fear of blood. So you can think of hematology to remember what hemo means. Another one is iatro, which means doctors. So we can think of... Um, iatrogenic when you think of this word. So iatrophobia would mean a fear of doctors. Iatrophobia is a fear of doctors. The next one is ichthyo, which means fish. So ichthyophobia is a fear of fish. The next one is catserida or catserida, which means cockroaches. So catseridaphobia would be a fear of cockroaches. So the next one is kinomorto, which means zombies. So kinomortophobia would be a fear of zombies. And a way to remember what kinomorto means is that if you think about um, the prefix kinomorto, you break it down. If you look at the mort or morto portion of that prefix, mort means dead or something that's dead. Um, you can think of the word mortality. 
And kina, kina means movement or walking or something that moves or something that walks. You can think of the word kinematics. So if you put that together, put that together, kina means movement or walking, mort or morto means something that's dead. Walking dead or moving dead literally means zombies. So kinemortophobia is a fear of zombies. The next one is legyro, which means loud noises. So legyrophobia would be a fear of loud noises. The next one is lepidoptero, which means butterflies. And so lepidopterophobia is a fear of butterflies. And lepidoptero comes from the order lepidopteran, um, which is what butterflies are classified in, in the order lepidopteran. The next one is metathesio, which means change. So metathesiophobia is a fear of change. So again, you might have heard the um, meta. Meta means something that's changing. So that might help you remember what metathesio means. The next one is myso. This means germs or contamination. So mysophobia is a fear of germs or contamination. Or you might have heard of germaphobe. This is the same thing. The next one is mono. Mono is being alone. So monophobia would be a fear of being alone. Mono is one. It literally means one. So you're afraid of just being by yourself or being alone. So that's what monophobia means. The next one is moti or mata. Uh, that means moths. So you can think of motophobia is a fear of moths. And the next one is mermeco, uh, which means ants. So mermecophobia would be a fear of ants. So now that we've gone through all those uh, list of phobias and the prefixes for those specific phobias, let's do some practice problems. So the first one is calrophobia. So again, we know that phobia means fear of, but really what we're trying to focus on here is we're looking at the prefix. What does the prefix calro or cholero mean. So again, we break it down. Cholero. Cholero means clowns. And again, phobia means fear of, so cholerophobia is a fear of clowns. The next practice problem is agoraphobia. Again, phobia means fear of, so it's a fear of something. So what does the prefix agora mean? Well, again, we break it down. Agora means open or crowded spaces. Phobia, again, fear of. So agoraphobia is a fear of open or crowded spaces. And the next one is mysophobia. So we just learned what mysophobia is. Myso, again, is germs or contamination. Phobia is a fear of. So it's a fear of germs or contamination. Mysophobia is a fear of germs or contamination. Another uh, more common phobia. The next one is illurophobia. So illurophobia, what, was, what does this mean? So again, aluro means cats. Phobia means fear of, so it's a fear of cats. The next one is didascalinophobia. So didascalinophobia, this is maybe a more difficult one. Uh, you can think of um, the first portion of the word, didascalino. Uh, this means school. And again, phobia means fear of, so it's Fear of school or fear of going to school, didascalinophobia. And you might try to figure out a way to remember this. So how do you remember what didascalino means? It's a very odd word, but um, I try to think of it as, you know, dida, dida, didactic learning. You can think of didactic learning. Um, scalino kind of sounds like school a little bit. So didascalinophobia. Um, it maybe might help you didascalino means school. And the last one is galeophobia. So what does galeophobia mean? So again, galeo, galeo means sharks, and again, phobia is fear of. So galeophobia is a fear of sharks. Anyways, guys, that was lesson one on phobia terminology. So in this lesson, we went through a large list of phobia medical terminology prefixes. Uh, in the next lesson, we're going to go through even more phobia terminology. We're going to go through even more prefixes, uh, and we're going to go from the letter N onwards. Uh, we're going to finish the rest of the alphabet in the next lesson. So anyways, I hope you found this 
a lesson helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much.